What's up, everybody? This is AJ, and I, I can't get my editing software to work, so the quality, again, isn't the greatest. I mean, it's still 360p. Like, it's not going to look hardly any different than 360p normally would look. But if you <laughs> don't watch it full screen or uh, in 720p because it doesn't make a difference, I mean, I, I don't... On my other computer, it let me just drag the MP4 files right into Windows Movie Maker, and that was that. But apparently, on this computer, that I don't—it's <laughs> exact same program, exact same everything, but it just doesn't work. So I don't know. I'm dumb when it comes to technology, and I have terrible luck. So <laughs> those two are a wicked, wicked combination. But I wanted to talk about the Call of the Community charity challenge tournament thing because uh <laughs> as you guys probably all know by now the billionaires challenge had uh quite the dropout and i'm sure you guys have heard all about it so i'm not gonna get too much into it <laughs> safe to say there were some dildos taken out and i don't know i think you can guess bad things happened from there so yeah if you're uh not a subscriber and you're watching this um this is kind of the shit I like to do is just bring beast-ass gameplay and give my opinion on YouTube stuff and give tips and tricks about the game. So if you like those kind of videos, and <laughs> hopefully I'll have the quality fixed on my next video. I just, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but anyways, let's get into it. Oh yeah, first I'm using the Caparis, which is super underrated if you haven't tried it. It's really good. It's just like the the Mac 11, where it's got the grip and rapid fire built in. <laughs> like, they're literally built into the gun, so. If you use extended mags, it's not, you're not really, like, hurting yourself or anything. So, uh, I'd recommend trying it out. But, uh, let's get into the call of the community. I didn't get to see the draft again, because uh, I actually went and saw, it's called, the movie is called Horrible Bosses, and I would highly recommend it. It's fucking hilarious, but... Anyways, that's neither here nor there. So I'm looking at the teams right now, and I'll leave a link in the description to uh, T Mart's website because he's got the teams on here. And the first thing I noticed, no one drafted Wings of Redemption. I don't know if that's maybe he can't play or something, but that when I was looking over the list, I was like, wait a minute, that's I don't know. I'm sure he just can't like play in it or some shit. I don't know. But uh, looking at the teams. It's funny, there's actually a lot of guys in here who I don't really know. And I'm, I mean, I watch <laughs> quite a few people on YouTube. And I don't know a lot of these guys, so excuse <laughs> somewhat my ignorance. But uh, for the most part, I think I got a pretty good handle on the teams. It looks like, right out of the gate, I'm liking x -Jaws team, <laughs> despite my opinions on x -Jaws as an individual. But <laughs> we won't say any more about that. He's got him, Trout, and then Rambo. I think, I thought his name was Rambino. He's from, like, Optic or Fear. I don't know. I've seen him play. I'm pretty sure it's who I'm thinking of, and I've seen him play, and he's a beast, so. He's got him, Trout, and uh, PSN Cool PJ. I'm not exactly sure who that is, but there's at least three really solid players on that team, so I'm liking them. And then probably my second favorite is... Uh, Sam 5000, Sam 5000's team, because Sam 5000 is obviously a fucking beast. I don't know if it's going to come into effect, though, because it's him and he's got Fear Crads on his team, and they're both from uh, the UK. I think it's going to be played on Game Dunzo servers, so they'll probably get a decent connection, but I doubt they'll get four bars, so it might be a little bit of a disadvantage. But then they got, obviously, the beast, NASA 1 himself. And then Striker, I'm not... I don't know who that is, um, but if he's, you know, an MLG pro or whatever, he's obviously pretty good. And then Dr. Disrespect is the alternate, and I'm, I think he's pretty good, I don't know. But uh, anyways, let's get on with the show, and then probably the team I'm picking to win is got to be C. Nanner's team. First of all, you got C. Nanner's, who's obviously... I mean, I don't, this guy is just gifted. I mean, he's he's really good at commentary, and he's really good at uh, poning the noobs. So, I don't know, he's just a lucky guy. 
<laughs> I sound like such a fag right now. So let's move on. But yeah, he's got Sea Nanners, Earn My Respect, who I haven't seen too much from him, but I know he's pretty good. And then they got Pawn Star for Hire, who's obviously, like, probably one of the best on YouTube. Guy's a fucking beast. And then, uh, Foreplay, I think he's Envy Foreplay. I'm pretty sure, and I've seen him play, and he is a, a monster, too. And I'm not sure who the uh, alternate is, but <laughs> those four are pretty, pretty good. So uh, that's the team I'm picking to win, C. Nanner's team. And I'm looking at this right now, and it it appears that <laughs> Pwn Star for Hire was drafted by two teams. I'm not sure how that's possible, but I don't know. Guys, fuck it. Maybe his, uh, his other team is going to be his penis. <laughs> it's a little inside joke. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking so far, and uh, gameplay is wrapping up. I think I go 40 and 8, rushing with the, uh, rushing with the, whatever the fuck that gun's called. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.